What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming, and today, guys, I'm bringing you a new video for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. So, I was on Brute Force Save Data site the other day, and I noticed that they dropped a save editor for the game. So, I wanted to share with you guys what it looks like and what it can actually do. But I want to give a shout out to Gold972 for making this possible and releasing the save editor. Thank you. So let me actually open it up, show you guys what it can do and what it looks like. Just bear with me for one second. So this is pretty much it, the Dragon Ball Xenoverse save editor from Brute Force. So all you need to do is go to open, give it a second. And keep in mind, I'm doing this on a Japanese save. And pretty much, this is it. Now you can go here and edit whatever you like experience skill points health so on and so on or you can just go beast mode and hit max all everything is maxed out and you're good to go you can also enable unlock all items or certain items like t-shirt pants gloves boots the choice is yours and that's pretty much it and you just go to file save and that's it and the two things that just appeared here and here you don't need that you just need to save copy it onto your playstation and that's pretty much it now i want to mention it to you guys before you try to use the save editor it's really made for custom firmware users because if you have an original playstation or a non-modded playstation you can't copy the save because the save is copy protected so the only way to copy a save on a non modded ps3 or original firmware ps3 is that you're going to need a save that's non copy protected now as it goes for right now i haven't seen one maybe when the game come out in us on the 27th someone will post one that actually work um i haven't seen one and if it does come out i'll let you guys know asap so that you guys can go and use the save editor and put it on your playstation also too i'm gonna post for you guys the disk hash key so you can add that to your disk hash key repository in brute force save data so if brute force save data releases cheats that you can add to brute force save data itself you guys already have the disk hash key for all three versions us euro and japan and you can just uh, add the cheats and that's pretty much it guys um as always it's mr you know who from xmi gaming thank you for checking out my videos if you want to leave a like a comment let me know um also too if you guys want me to do a certain startup save for you guys let me know i'll put it on my channel but as always thank you for watching my videos and peace